Hello everyone, it's Dan here and thanks again for joining me for a very special story. Now today's read is a reassuring and sensitive book, the perfect springboard for introducing talking to children about the hidden worries they may have, however big or small they may be. It is of course Ruby's Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. Yay! She loved to swing up high. Yippee! And she loved to explore the wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Hmm. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she was cleaning her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, hmm. not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing that you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now, the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt. Sad. And then she noticed something else. Something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person with a worry at all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind and he told her the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, <laughs> They never hung around for long.
if you're worrying about something, no matter how big or small, there is always someone there to talk to. See you again soon. Thank you.